By now, you should have received by email your entry kit for the 2020 International Business Awards. If you haven't received that email, click on the first tab above where you'll find a copy of the entry kit. This is the second in a series of short videos about why and how your organization should submit nominations to the 2020 IBAs. The topic of this video is what's new and different in the 2020 IBAs. The eligibility timeframe for the 2020 IBAs runs from January 1st, 2019 through June 17th, 2020, the last day on which nominations will be accepted. This means that your nominations must describe achievements during that window. Make sure that your nominations are focused on that time period or the judges will not give high scores to them. We've added quite a few new categories to the IBAs in 2020. The most significant of these are nine new categories to recognize specific types of organizational achievement. Examples of these categories are achievement in customer satisfaction, achievement in international expansion, and achievement in product innovation. You'll also find new categories among the groups for new products and services, mobile websites and apps, publications, and videos. The most significant change to the IBAs this year, however, and it's a change that we will be rolling out to all of the Stevie Awards competitions going forward, is the simplification of our submission requirements. In the IBAs, these new, easier to complete submission requirements are instituted in a number of the category groups. The 2020 International Business Awards have three entry deadlines. There is an early bird deadline with discounted entry fees of April 8th. The final entry deadline is May 13th, but we will continue to accept late entries with payment of a late fee through June 17th. If you have questions about the new features of the 2020 International Business Awards or about why or how your organization should submit nominations, contact us at help at stevieawards.com.